If you're working with multiple layers, chances are that you may want to hide them or lock them. So let's say for example, I have this cube right here and I have the spear as well. So these are uh, two objects as you can see and one capsule as well. So what I'm going to do is keep each one of them uh, in a layer. So I'm going to go over here onto layers and I'm going to select each one of them and keep them on a layer. So I'm going to say a new layer from object selection right here. So this is my first layer capsule and this is going to be my second layer as you can see and this is going to be my third layer from object as you can see right here. So there's the layer and I can rename each one of this. So I'm going to say this is my spear layer, S-P-H-C-R-E, spear. And this is going to be my cube right here. And this is going to be my capsule. So I'm going to say capsule just like this. So in order to actually hide these layers, I can go over here and you can see that there's V. V stands for visible. And if I were to click on the capsule, you can see that I can enable and disable the capsule layer right here. And I can work around with the cube as well. And I can work, I can work around with the sphere as well. I can also select two uh, objects and create new up layers from that as well. So this is a group as you can see and if I were to disable both disappears right here. So but once I do that you can see that now it's not a part of these layers anymore. So I'm going to press Control Z uh, just like this and it'll go back to being this one layer as you can see. So this is one capsule, another one and this. What you can also do is lock these layers. So I, right now you can see that I can move around these layers just like this. And if you do not want to accidentally edit any layers or so forth, what you can do is you can select this layer and then simply lock this. So once um, you lock it, you can see that it stays in place. You can edit out the other layers as you can see, but you are not able to select this one out, the one you locked out. So you want to use it as a reference or something, then you can use lock layer option right here. So I locked two of them, the capsule, so you can see that only sphere is editable. And if I were to click on these locks uh, right hook over here, you can see that they are editable again. So that is how you hide and lock layers inside of Cinema 4D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.